Hi guys, this is part one of a three-part um, tutorial set where I'm going to show you how to model a really, really simple 3D vehicle. I'm doing an ice cream van just to show you guys. So what I'm doing here is I'm just setting up blueprints um, for us to 3D model from. So what you can see I'm doing here is that I'm going into object properties and I'm going to untick where it says show frozen in grey because what we're going to do is we're going to freeze this plane and we're going to put an image onto it um, and that image will just be whatever vehicle you're modeling from um, then what you're going to do is just drag and drop like I did just then drag and drop the image straight onto the plane make sure that you do this um, onto the plane and not onto the background or the background will turn into the image and it will be a nightmare next what you're going to do is just right click on that plane and just press freeze and then we're going to drop a plane in front of this one to start modelling from. What I'm doing now is I'm right clicking and going on object properties again. And I'm just going to tick where it says see through. As you can see now that it's see through, it's much easier to see the image be behind that we're using as a reference picture. I'm just positioning this in front of the picture and then I'm going to go ahead and go into vertex mode and start moving those verts into the shape of the outside of the truck. I'm being careful to make sure that all of the edges stay relatively in a line or in a grid shape because we don't want the topology to be completely messed up basically. I'm also going to change it from perspective mode to orthographic mode just to make it easier because if you leave it in perspective mode when you move it around when you move the camera around slightly it will skew so orthographic mode stops that from happening now I'm just going to move these two edges into the middle of where those tires are because I'm going to make the wheel arches now so I'm moving them right into the middle and I'm using the chamfer tool Try and avoid using the chamfer tool as much as possible um, on 3D objects because it can create n-gons and n-gons are very bad. But we're working on a 2D plane at the moment, so using the chamfer tool is okay. So I just moved those edges out to where the wheel arches were going to start and finish. And now I'm just kind of recreating that middle part of the truck. Next I'm going to use the edge and the ring tool to add in another edge just above where the tyre begins, so the very top of the tyre, and then I'm going to delete those two polygons so that I can start modelling in the shape of the wheel arches. And all I'm doing now is that I'm grabbing edges and adding in new edges using the connect tool so that I can make this hole and the arch more round. I'm going to be speeding up the video now because I'm just basically making it look more like a ice cream truck and it's pretty simple. As you can see when I am moving verts around I'm only moving them on the up or the side axis just so that we can keep that topology nice and smooth and so it doesn't get messy. What I'm doing now is I'm grabbing the wheel arch edges and I'm going to extrude them inwards using the extrude settings so that I can control it and then I'm going to turn the camera a little bit and it looks weird because it's in orthographic mode but I'm just going to see how far outwards I want to push them. Next I'm adding in some edges at the top um, just because I want to create that top blue part that's like an overlapping roof type part. 
So I'm just adding in more edges there so that I can do that. So what I did just then is I held down shift. So if you hold down shift and drag while you've got an edge selected, it will extrude along where you're dragging it. So it's really, really good to do when you're doing any kind of hard surface modeling like this, but you hold down shift to do that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this part of the model back slightly just so that when we make it into a 3D model it's not just a perfect box because vehicles aren't perfectly square or box shaped. They have a bit of an indent to them. Now I'm just going to go on to border mode and on border mode while holding down shift I'm going to drag backwards on the x-axis. And now we've got a 3D vehicle from a 2D plane. And if you look at the bottom, there's no end guns. So it's a really, really good way of doing it. And it keeps the geometry nice and smooth. I'm going to use the chamfer tool again, even though I said to avoid using it on a 3D model. But I'm also going to show you how to fix an end gun using the vertex weld. So what you can see here is I've just created a triangle there, which has got an end gun next to it. So I'm going to delete this polygon and then I'm going to weld this bit to the one above it. And that will get rid of the end gun that was happening just on the right there. I'm also going to have to go onto the underneath of the truck now and just using the connect tool on vertex mode, I'm going to make some connections here. So create an edge just to get rid of that end gun there as well. And just a reminder, an engon is a polygon with more than four sides. Now I'm going to create the bumpers just by extruding those outwards. Just be careful here and make sure that when you use the extrude button, you do delete the two polygons that it creates on the inside where we want it to be nice and blank. So I'm just deleting those now. And now I'm using border again and I'm going down to the align tool and I'm just aligning it on the z-axis so that when we use the symmetry modifier later it's nice and smooth. I'm going to show you how to use the symmetry modifier now but I will be deleting this side of the truck later so that we only have to texture one side. But as you can see you just have to move the mirror a little bit and adjust it. Sometimes you have to flick through x, y and z to get it on to the right side. And if you can't see anything at all, try pressing the flip button. But I've just collapsed all that down. And I'm happy with that. Next, I'm going to make the tire. It's really simple. We're going to do it the same way that we did um, the barrel on the barrel tutorial. So I'm just making a cylinder and dragging that in. And I'm going to get rid of those um, side edges because they really don't need them. I'm going to go make it an editable poly. And then I'm going to insert this front polygon here. I'm going to insert it again. And as I insert them, I'm just moving them slightly outwards and then slightly inwards. And it creates that nice tire shape and I'm deleting the back polygon there. And I'm gonna speed this part of the video up because it's boring, but I'm just going through and connecting all of these verts together to get rid of that big end on in the middle. And now they're all quads. I'm putting the symmetry modifier on here again, but like I said, later I will be deleting this side of the model, I'm just trying to make sure that it looks right before I go and texture it. Okay, next step is the wing mirror. It's pretty simple. 
we're just going to model it from a box. So your wing mirrors might not be as square as mine, because um, my drawing is quite a stylized one, my reference picture. Um, I'm just going to add in some edges here, and then I'm going to extrude, sorry, inset the front polygon, and then extrude that backwards to create the inset mirror part. And then on the bottom left of the box, I'm just going to extrude two polygons from there outwards to create the kind of arm that's going to stick into the side of the car. And then at the very end, I'll just delete these two polygons that will be kind of stuck inside the car that aren't doing anything because you're not going to be seeing them. So it just makes it a lot more um, nice to deal with when you're setting up your texture. And then we've got our truck. So on the next video, I'm going to cover unwrapping each of these different assets. And then the video after that will be making sure that the asset is ready to take into Unity and moving the pivot points and stuff around so that they work using the vehicle controller.